YouTube family, this is Sub Zero Vlogs. Back with another video just for all of you guys. As y'all can see, I'm over here with the Subaru. If you click the title of the video, you guys already know what we're gonna be talking about. A lot of y'all have been asking me to make this video about how you can start your YouTube channel, how you can build a YouTube channel, especially a car YouTube channel in 2020. I appreciate everyone who's been following the channel and following me and my build. We are so close to 11,000 subscribers, almost at 11,000 subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed, you check out the videos, go ahead and smash that like button and that subscribe button and go ahead and comment other material and videos you guys want to see from my channel I'm gonna go ahead and give you all the content that you all want so go ahead in the comments below drop exactly what type of videos and other content you want to see from my channel like I always keep saying y'all go after your dreams and make them your reality let's have a great day a blessed day let's get to the video peace never a better time to start a project though plan your build channel your vision it takes time to realize that dream, to turn it into a reality. First, beginning to build and start your YouTube channel, you want to identify your niche, your brand, your product. What are you selling your viewers for them to watch every time they come to your page? What exactly do you want your channel to be about? So my channel is all about cars, driving, POV, rolls, installs, reactions. Oh, I like that. I have a passion for cars. I want to show others that you can have fun with cars. Cars are meant to be driven and they're meant to be experienced. But I want you all to be a part of the experience as well. So the most important thing you want to first figure out is your equipment. Equipment is very, very key. Now, I use my iPhone for the first entire year of my YouTube. So if you don't have equipment, do not worry. But this is the equipment I have. I have a camera, a mic, a gimbal, a tripod, stabilizer, GoPros. I have a bunch of stuff, but I did not firstly start with this gear so right now i'm using my iphone 10 i want to give you guys the quality uh, of what an iphone will look like but if you get a camera this is the quality that your camera is going to have now i have canon sl2 uh, Rebel EOS camera. As you can see, it's much more defined. It's much more clear. If you get a nice camera, it just makes your quality better. And you want good quality to go along with your quantity to build your YouTube channel. Quality definitely matters. So next up, as far as equipment goes, I have the tripod, which you are seeing right here. This is what a lot of car reviewers use in order to get video footage of the cars and themselves in the same frame without having to hold a gimbal. Also with the tripod, the screen is gonna be still, so you're not gonna worry about any camera shake, and it's just that much easier to get a good angle and to talk about the car. As you can see, the use of a tripod, I'm able to get different angles of the car and able to talk about the car. You can do walk arounds, you can do everything that you need to do. If you want to pan and talk about something with a car, you can do this way. You can come in front of it, come to the side of it. But most importantly, the camera is not shaking. So the use of a tripod makes things that much easier as far as doing car reviews, external stuff, you're talking about your car. I want to show you all 100% video clip of just using my iPhone. Now, like I said before, I use my iPhone for the first year of being on YouTube, the entire year. I have no previous experience with videos, editing, nothing along that nature is all. So I am like many of you who might be nervous or scared to get into film because you don't know how to. I want to show you all. You can use simply your iPhone, research a little bit, and learn to do different editing techniques that I will get into with the video in order to make your videos that good. next tip in order to starting your YouTube channel is definitely doing the research analytics and creating a business plan you can go into YouTube studios to do this I currently have 11,000 subscribers but I want to show you all exactly my statistics over the last 28 days these are the views subscribers and watch times I have this is gonna help you identify what videos do well what videos are giving you subscribers views and views per hour also it's gonna tell you the negatives as well so if you check out right here it's gonna tell you the lowest average watch time in the lowest like ratios on videos you have so to tell you the videos that need work or the content people did not like the most or they got in and out of it or there might be a part in the video uh, that they didn't like at that moment this right here is going to tell you exactly which videos did well with the higher watch times retentions and, and uh, views so this is going to tell you what content they liked and what videos did well with quality 
When it comes to scheduling, you're definitely gonna wanna check this tab out. This is very key. You wanna post your videos at times when it's gonna be a lot of traffic on YouTube. So in doing this, you're gonna be able to structure videos and have the most eyes on your videos when they need to be. So check out, you know, when you're gonna post, make sure you double check when the post good times are gonna be and do that. Next thing is film everything, over film. Um, when I first was starting YouTube, this is definitely something that I should have done more of. It's better to have, you know, an hour or two hour of film to edit through than to have nothing at all. So film all the interactions with cars, film all your interactions with friends, film everything, film every second that you're driving, um, film every second that you're working on a car, just film it all so that way if there's little jokes, little driving, scenarios, pull-ups, whatever happens while you're in your day, you have it all on camera instead of having to turn on and try and get in the moment you're already in the moment so go ahead the next thing is just film everything and over film so that way you have more content to choose from because the more content you have for your videos the better quality is probably going to be in those videos and the more fun they're going to be when building your YouTube channel, you're definitely going to want to be creative and be a difference maker. Make your channel unique. Regardless of its cars, fashion, fitness, whatever you're doing with your channel, you want to have something that's identifiable to you and have something and be creative. Editing is very important with the YouTube channels, guys. Editing is very key. It makes the quality that much better. Now, I edited this part, but I'm doing it without the sound. I want to show you the clip again with the sound so you can see how editing and making it on point work. Let me break it down right quick for my haters, my dictators, and bad raiders. Since you never seem to get it right no more, then right no more. Kick back your feet and watch your back from perpetrators. My game's strong in my range roll. I got the black jack. Another major thing is video structure, guys. Video structure is key. As you notice with a lot of cars or videos, there's only three to five seconds before a frame is changed, before a visual is changed, before an angle is changed. So with your video qu content and with your just angles, you're definitely gonna wanna have something so it's not stagnant. A lot of videos that do well are those that have a lot going on or they seem like there's a lot going on because they change the angles. You can have this video, the car is in the same place, the girl is in the car, but instead of having the same look, you have different angles for the car. This is gonna make things that much more crisp, that much better and easier. I hope this was able to help you guys with you know building your YouTube channels or starting these are the tips that I would give to myself over again if I was to redo it again But most importantly guys go after it be creative be consistent and go after dreams y'all have a blessed day